there welcome back to my channel this is going to be the tag video that's been going around the luxury items i never thought i'd buy i was tagged by the lovely aso nail the person that started this tag is a chic professor she tagged a whole bunch of people at the end of this video i will tag the people that i would love to see do this video a lot of them have been tagged already by other youtubers some of them have not and i don't know there are a couple that i don't know if they've actually done the video after being tagged but i'll tag them anyway i was actually talking to lady b about this tag because i thought to myself there's no way that i could come up with that many items that i never thought i'd have and the reason for that is i never thought i would have any of these items it's really difficult to put this video together but as i was looking over my small collection I realized that there are several items that I never thought I would buy for different reasons. Now, I technically have six items, but two of them are the same. I have two of the same item, just in a different print. But I'm going to talk about all of them. So, here we go. First item that I never thought I would buy is the six ring key holder by Louis Vuitton. Oh, this is in the Damier Aven print. Now, the reason that I never thought I would buy this is because I was very pro uh, Louis Vuitton clay. That's where I kept my keys. And I would see people with these and I would think, oh, well, how can you possibly lock and unlock? Like, I didn't realize that this spun. So I gave it a chance and now I love it. I actually, I love it so much that I wound up selling the two clays that I had. I had them in monogram and in Damier and Ben. Not using them because I love this one so much. So the six ring key holder, if you're not familiar with it, they come in four key as well, but the six key is perfect for me. I have my key fob, my car key fob, my house keys, and my PO box key. They sit in here and on the extra ring, I put this lovely little wristlet charm that my friend Zoila Solis here on YouTube makes. She is amazing. Um, I love this thing. Like I don't, if you have one of these, you need one of these. So definitely reach out to her and see if she can make one for you. It's lovely. So that's that piece. The next piece I never thought I would have is the Louis Vuitton Multicolor in the Noir PM Agenda. I have always been obsessed with the multicolor, specifically the noir. I don't know what it is. The child in me maybe loves all of the colors. I don't know, but I've always loved this. And as we know, sadly, Louis Vuitton has discontinued the multicolor line. They came out with something else in its place recently, but not really a fan of that. But anyway, I never thought I would have this piece, not because I didn't want it, but because I never thought that I would find anything in this print let alone a PM Agenda. These are extraordinarily hard to find. And I got the one with the uh, fuchsia interior. And I absolutely love this thing. Um, the I use it as a wallet. And Crushy, come on Crushy, that's so rude to give your butt to the people. I'm sorry. He's very rude. I I've not done a very good job of educating him. Go away. Um, so I use it as a wallet. Right now it's taking a break. I'm using a different wallet just so that the silk screen um, multicolor won't rub off. I can't wait to start using it again because, again, I love this piece. So that's number two. Number three, and it seems like I'm going kind of in size order. So the next two items that technically is just one item are the Louis Vuitton desk agendas. Now I have it in the monogram and in the Damier graffiti. I got the Damier graffiti first and then I got the monogram agenda. Now the reason that I never thought that I would have these is because I have always been a ring bound planner. I never thought that I would ever have any use for the desk agenda, but after using ring bound planners for about a year and a half, I I discovered the Agendio Agenda, and once I discovered the Agendio Agenda, I needed a desk agenda to put it inside of. Needed. But I never thought that I would have one, let alone two, um, of these. They're also very hard to find, at least in my experience. It was really hard to find them. Um, so, but yeah, that's why. Because I was a ring-bound girl, 
and I became a desk agenda girl. I don't know, but I love both of these. This one I use for work. It's more understated. This one I use for personal use. So desk agendas technically counts as one because it's the same piece. So that's, that's, that's number three, technically. Um, on to number four. Number four is the Gucci Marmont um, purse in the small. I think this is the small. Um, I never thought that I would have, and I'm just looking at it in the viewfinder because it's just so gorgeous. I never thought I would have this piece, honestly, because I wasn't really into Gucci, like at all. Like I was not attracted by any of the pieces that Gucci was coming out with until I saw this one. I don't remember who I saw it with first on YouTube, but when I saw it, I knew I just had to have it. So I went ahead and I purchased it. It didn't come, it came with its share of issue. Uh, I did have some creasing issues, but that's beside the point. I exchanged it and then this one wound up having creasing issues too, so whatever. But I never thought I would have this piece because I never thought that I would delve in into the world of Gucci. But I have, and I'm very happy that I did. I really do love this piece. It's beautiful leather. It's really, really nice. And the antique gold hardware, beautiful. So that's that. The next piece, which is by far my favorite piece in my entire collection, entire collection, so small, uh, is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now, I was obsessed with this piece when it first came out. Everyone was getting it. Everyone and their mother wanted this bag. And as we all know, a very long waiting list developed for this piece. And I thought, well, that sucks. I'm never going to get it now. So the reason I never thought I would have it is for that reason. It was very hard to find. I was at the end of a very long list and I never thought that I would get it. But my beautiful client advisor, Chris Gonzalez from uh, Roosevelt Field Mall Neiman Marcus store, he called me and told me that one was um, available. And I went in and I didn't buy it that day. Something made me not buy it that day. And I left the very next day. I realized I was an idiot and I called him back and it was gone. Somebody had purchased it, obviously. Uh, I waited a week. He told me, don't worry. You know, it was a mistake. As soon as one comes in, I will give it to you. Um, and one came in and I went in the very same day to purchase it. But the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, I never thought I'd have it because of how hard it was to get. This piece will be in my collection forever. I don't care. Um, what issues they say it has. I, I don't care about any of it. There's apparently there's a recall on these now from a certain um, from a certain year to a certain year. I think the 2015, 2013, 14, 15, don't quote me on that. Bags um, have a recall because of the glazing and all sorts of stuff. I don't care. Nobody's getting this bag. This is my forever bag. I love this thing. But there we go. Louis Vuitton Pichette Matisse. And now... That was bag, that was item five. Last but certainly not least is the, I can't even get it in this in the same shot, or maybe I can. The Louis Vuitton Keep All 55, uh, the, the bando version, if that's what you call it, I forget, in the monogram eclipse print. Now, oh, I'm just gonna hold it like this, like a big old teddy bear. I love this piece. This is an this is also a piece that I will never get rid of. Um, I never thought I would get this piece because I never thought that I would purchase a luxury piece from Louis Vuitton. Before I bought this, I couldn't justify spending the amount of money that it costs for a piece that's going to get thrown around. But this is such a good, high quality piece that I dare to say it, I will have it forever. It is just so sturdy and strong. It's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. It gets really, really heavy. Um, the zipper is really hard to open and close. It does have gunmetal uh, hardware. It's gorgeous. Um, so it's, it's not without its issues, but issues aside, this is just an amazing piece. The only print that I would have gotten would have been the Damier event. When I saw the monogram Eclipse, um, canvas 
I drooled. It, it's just so, so beautiful. I love it. Um, I would love to get other pieces. I wish they made like a Neverfull in this print. That would just be amazing. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so the monogram, monogram Eclipse Keep All 55. I never thought I would have it, but I'm glad I took the leap. And um, like I said, I love it. And it's, it's just an amazing piece. Those are my luxury items I never thought I would have. And now I'm going to tag the following people. I do have a list here because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Like I said, some of these people have been tagged already. And I don't know if they've actually um, done the video. I haven't seen them do it. But I would love to see the following people do this tag. Zoila Solis. Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover. Minx for All. Rami Bree, Wilma Kaysen, Lux of Paris, Chi Chi Lux, and Everything Johnson. Those are the people that I would love to see do it. Thank you so much for tagging me, Aso Neo, and I look forward to seeing everyone else's video. That's it, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd love that too. Go ahead and hit that little bell. It will notify you every time I upload a video. And until next time, see you in my next video.